of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's called the order, 9 o'clock, item number one. I make a motion to approve item number one is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Wish my Christian warrants and my Christian I'll approve item one on the agenda. Approve the minutes of the September 11th meeting. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item number two. Make a motion to approve item number two is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Wish my Christian warrants and second by Christian I'll approve item two on the agenda. Approve the cash disbursements and electronic payments. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number three. I'll make a motion to approve item number three is listed on the agenda. I'll second <coughs> it. Motion by Christian Warren, Senate by Commissioner Allen, approve item three on the agenda, approve the the so stated request for payments for seminars or seminar approvals. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number four. I'll make a motion to approve item number four is listed on the agenda. I'll second it. Motion by Commissioner Warren, signed by Commissioner Arnold to approve item four on the agenda, ratify and approve the transfer of Ashley Corbin from the position of part-time corrections to the open union eligible position of full-time corrections for the recommendation of award and show. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. You say aye. Yes. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Okay. <laughs> item five. I'll make a motion to approve item number five is listed on the agenda. <coughs> I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 5 on the agenda. Ratify and approve the transfer of Richard Schultz, Schultz or whatever from the position of part time corrections to the open union eligible position of full time corrections. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number 6. Make a motion to approve item number 6 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 6 on the agenda. Ratify and approve the transfer. Uh, Yana Brown from position of full time corrections officer to the going from full time to full time corrections sergeant. sergeant. All right, okay, going to sergeant. Okay, for the recommendation, word shelf. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item seven. I'll make a motion to approve item number seven. <coughs> Is listed on the agenda? I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 7 on the agenda, approve the hiring of Brittany Smith from Montrose to the open full time union eligible position of case aid and 25 per hour effective September 26 for the recommendation of Children Youth Director Michelle Graziano. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number 8. I'll make a motion to approve item number 8 is listed on the agenda. <coughs> I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, second by Christian Allen, approve item 8 on the agenda to approve the hiring of Isaac Cook of Hot Bottom to the open part time union eligible position corrections officer for the recommendation of Warden Shelf. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried, item 9. I make a motion to approve item <coughs> number 9 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, sent by Christian Arnold to approve item 9 on the agenda, approve the hiring of Nancy Volch of um, Shopping to the open part time union all position of corrections officer, per the recommendation of Warden Schilt. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Item 10. I'll make a motion to approve item number 10 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, sent by Christian Arnold to approve item 10 on the agenda, to acknowledge the hiring of Leanne Overfield of Montrose, the open full time union all position of second deputy treasurer, tax claim, <coughs> further recommendation of treasurer Jason Miller. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carry okay. item 11. I make a motion to approve item number 11 as listed on the agenda. <coughs> I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 11 on the agenda to ratify and approve the effective date of Walter Amini and Frank Mulligan, security guards. From part time to full time as of September 11, 2019. For the recommendation of Lance Benedict. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Item 12. Make a motion to approve <coughs> item number 12 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Honor, will approve item 12 on the agenda to ratify and approve the termination of Danielle Mijlowski from the part time position of corrections officer effective September 23, 2019. 
for the recommendation of Warden Shelf. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried on 13. Make a motion to approve item number 13 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 13 on the agenda. Approve the plan maintenance program with BE Equipment Incorporated out of Quakertown for the biannual maintenance on the baler and conveyor at the county recycling at 1225 biannual. Questions or comments? I guess I would ask um, <coughs> what the what the um, plan states for how long, what was the length of the For eternity, or it is it automatically recurring? For how long? Uh, that's what I'm trying to find out. Mm -hmm. Automatically recurring the grace system again. I'd like to make it for one year. I'd like to amend my motion to include for. Oh, this agreement is valid for one year from the signed and return date. Okay. All right. So well, it still yeah. needs to yep. be included in there. Right. So it's one year. So you're still amending it? Yes. yes. Okay. You're okay with the amendment? I am. I'll second okay. that. All right. We have a motion and amended. Questions or comments? Every time period. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 14. Make a motion to... Approve item number 14 is listed on the agenda with the term stated in the contract of. Oh, that was passing down since one year. Of one year. I'll second that. Yeah, okay, motion by Christian Warren, sent by Christian Warren, approved item 14. And the plan maintenance screen with Thompson Johnson equipment. <coughs> For maintenance on our Toyotas at Susquehanna County Recycling, and those are forklifts, not cars, um, at a cost of $22.96.50 annually, and that's for a one year contract. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 So, period. Item 15. Make a motion to approve <coughs> item number 15 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 15 on the agenda, approve and advertise the change of the regular commissioner's meeting. Scheduled for December 25th, 2019 at 9 a.m. to December 20th, 2019 at 9 a.m. Questions or comments? I could have played Santa Claus that day, you know? Still can. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Hi. Right, so Is that really the, uh, the... Yeah. You didn't catch that date when you were passing it? Nope. I didn't catch that date? No, you didn't catch it. it. I'm kind of shocked that you didn't catch something like that first. I'm, you're you know slipping. What? You're I slipping. probably wasn't there. Yeah, probably. I usually take that meeting off. <laughs> item 16. I'll make a motion to approve item number 16 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Watch my Christian Warren, second my Christian Allen, approve item 16 on the agenda, approve change order number one for Susquehanna County Correction Facility roof renovation in the amount of $3,061.92. Questions or comments? I assume that's a change that's like bumping it up and not decreasing it. Yeah, we right. had we switched the uh, um, made them go to a different glue process because the glue that was using had, was uh, had too much uh, uh, off gassing, so we went to a more friendlier glue. Now I'm gonna Google off gassing. All, right. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm 17. I make a motion to approve item number 17 as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Okay, motion by Christian Warren, second by Commissioner Allen, approve item 17 on the agenda, approve proclamation 2019 17, uh, September 28th, as National Hunting and Fishing Day in Susquehanna County. 
questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carry. Item 18. I make a motion to approve item number 18 <coughs> listed on the agenda. I'll second that. <coughs> Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold to approve item 18 on the agenda to open an award upon review of solicitor sealed bid for county building correctional gate control. My understanding is we only have one. So Johnson controls. Oh. <laughs> Playing with you, Bill. <laughs> Okay, so unit price A is five thousand sixty seven. Unit price B is two thousand one hundred forty eight. <coughs> unit price C is seventeen thousand thirty three. And the base price for the project is $349,500. So it looks like it's a total of $373,749. How many gates? That's um, replace existing doors. There's 12 doors. Um, And all the electronics for the paging and speaker system, there's six units there. And there's also two gate operations that have to be uh, replaced. And all that includes all the controls in the control room, all the electronics, all the <coughs> hardware, the software, and everything. Okay, so it looks like it is Johnson Controls. And then we'll go to them for a re the solicitor for review and approval. All in favor? Aye. Any other questions on that? Should I ask that first? Sorry. I'll make a motion to approve item number 19 and include <coughs> upon the review of the solicitor. I'll second that. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm watching my Commissioner Warren, sent my Commissioner Allen, approved 19, approved the engineering and architectural fee proposal by GPI in the amount of 965822 for the new public safety building, uh, I don't want to say complex, because it's more than one building, upon review of the uh, uh, solicitor. Questions or comments? Do you have the plans on display at the courthouse? Um, I have to come up with plans that I can display. Because of the 911 center, we can't display everything, but I will get some rough drawings available. <coughs> and actually, I think I might have a set that you can use right now that may work. Yes? Where is this building going to be? It's over in Gibson. It's behind the current state police barracks. We have 15 acres of land that was donated to us. Uh, so we're using that. And it gives us the close proximity to 81. Uh, that way, if there is anything major that happens in the county, of course, 80, Interstate 81 will be the only road that will be maintained first in the county. So, But it's technically New Milford Township, right? <coughs> I think, it, yeah, it's in New Milford Township. It's just the Gibson. Gibson exit, yeah. All right, that said, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, okay. Any Now, we have a couple other meetings going on here today. We have a salary board plus a pension. But do we have any public comment on the commissioner's meeting? Yes. Uh, last November, after the election, I had addressed several problems I thought were um, inherent in the <coughs> proceedings. And there was discussion about it. And there seemed to have been some re resolution of those items um, before the primary in May. However, those problems were never really fully addressed. And I'm wondering if they have been addressed since then. My understanding is that they have been, but what we will do is we will uh, push this on into the, the election board and election office and have them give you a written response so that you get something to, that addresses it. 
Do you have a Do you have the original, or do you have a copy of what you? I have my own notes on the issues, and the um, the first item that was addressed at the training session for prior to the uh, primary uh, was a piece of paper that was inserted into the uh, election. Uh, training manual, which was not, I, I believe, given to every single person in attendance, but should have been. And one of the things that um, <coughs> was brought up, well, there was problems with the poll pads being destroyed. There was um, the absence of debt. The major issue that I saw was the fact that there were other things going on in the polling places that had nothing to do with voting. And if you go on the count of the um, state website, Department of State website, it has training sessions very laid out for people who are going to be poll workers. And the bottom line is that the only thing that goes on in the polling place is a vote. Mm -hmm. You come in, you vote. Once right. you finish voting, you leave. Right. You are not allowed at any point to <coughs> enter the building for any purpose, and you cannot. You cannot politic there. You cannot sell anything there. You cannot come in and cause a disturbance there. Correct. And you cannot come in to raise funds. Correct. So we have an issue, and we had an issue, and I've heard that several others have had it. There are bake sales going on. There are people handing out business cards for their businesses to people congregating in the polling place. There are so many things going, but public conversation going on. People going in and out of the polling place. On the, la the primary election last May, we had the sheet from the voter registrar's mm -hmm. office stating bake sales must be in a different room than voting. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't the case. We went in on a Monday to take in the, uh, had to have to get the key to the polling place, and we had to let the people delivering the voting materials to the voting place. And when we left, the building was sealed. We thought. When we came in at 6 a.m. the next morning, we had found that the, the product, the produce, whatever was going to be sold that day, was already in the polling place, which means somebody came in after the fact. They opened the door, they came in, they set up their baking sale. Even though we had been apprised, it would not happen. But it did. When we told them they had to leave, and I was, at that point, I was the judge <coughs> because our judge was out ill, I had to have mano a mano fights with people coming in telling me that they were authorized to be there and that they did it for 40, 50, 100 years and that they were entitled to do it. And then I had people coming in who were part of the township telling me that I had to allow them to do it. And they came in and out. I had no constable, I had no clerks, we had a, a judge of election, a majority inspector, and a minority inspector. And a heavy turnout because our district makes sure, our committee makes sure we get the vote out. And we were there by ourselves. We needed the constable, we didn't have one. And so and that issue took almost a whole day, back and forth, back and forth. Then we had people removing our election signs, our yard signs, the political signs that are supposed to be allowed? No, they, had, they were removed. We didn't even know it until we saw it happening. And then we had to call the voter registrar to get them to put them back in place because it's an offense to remove them. And when we told the person who was removing the signs, we rent this space, because I have the last minutes of the <coughs> commissions meeting where we rent the polling places which may or may not be legal, I don't know and I don't care. Those signs were removed and we, would, we had to call again and have the voter registrar call them and say, you put those signs back because these are, these are offenses. Back and forth all day long fighting this out. This was not just a polling place. This was like a wrestling ring and it, was, it happened the, almost the whole day. And the people involved in, in the uh, opposition are all people who should know better. You don't bring a bake sale to a polling place. 
You don't remove signs. You don't come in and out threatening the people working the poll. You don't open a poll without a, a constable. And we had, a, we had we, three people, three women had a field this all day long. And then the piece de resistance, which we did not bring up after the fact, but we should have. The workers in Forest Lake at the polls did not receive payment for their services until five weeks went by. <coughs> and I don't think that any other district <coughs> had to put up with waiting five weeks to be paid for an 18-hour day. And that's another issue. So we were wondering, was the hold up in our, our pay for that period of time. Was it a punitive measure against the people in Forest Lake? Because if it was, well that should be looked into as well. And I know that as of January, or whenever you've declared that you're going to run for office again, you have nothing, um, you don't really have hands on with your Board of Election. But they have a responsibility to us. Tell us when your meetings are, bring your agendas, take the minutes, and be open to the public. Tell us where you're advertising if you're not advertising in the local papers, because we are attentive to that. We, we're subscribers to both papers. We don't see any of those, those uh, adverts. So those are issues that need to be addressed, because we have another election coming up, as you are well aware, within a few weeks. And I don't know that we're going to be able to say to people, well, this is a, a, legit, this is a legitimate enterprise here, because it's not. When you're skirting the rules, skirting the laws, skirting the, the, the requirements, it's not a legitimate enterprise any longer. And, and th that's what I want to address. Okay. Uh, what we will do is uh, we've made notes of everything that you've uh, talked about today. We'll put together a letter into the election board and to the uh, election office. We'll have the chief clerk handle this because we need to uh, keep our distance from this uh, from the uh, election office. One more and we will get you a written response and corrective action as to what's going to be done to address all these issues and the how it will be done. The written response should probably go to the newspapers. The, the, the alerts to what is legitimate and illegitimate at a polling place should go to the people who maintain the polling places, mm -hmm. like the township, not necessarily township supervisors, but certainly to the fire departments, the church, mm -hmm. whoever's, whoever's doing that. Mm -hmm. They should know these are the requirements and this is what's allowed and not allowed. And that's the first thing. And then the, the judges of elections should be notified. Constables should be sought after to make sure that, that decorum is at least maintained. We three women on that day were so oppressed and at, at times fearful because of what was going on. And we, had, we could do nothing about it except make a phone call. And that phone call is useless because it's in far place <coughs> to hear. So if we were in any kind of, we would not have had a, a prayer if any one of those harpies had decided to, to take action. And it came to a point several times that that was what we felt was going to happen. And that's because your judges are not advised, the people who maintain the polling places are not advised, and it's, it's a free-for-all. We will make sure that it all gets addressed, and we will make sure that we get the information back, not only to yourself, but also to the papers as to what's being done so that it's handled properly. And it's unfortunate that, you know, people can't follow the rules. Um, things are usually pretty black and white when it comes to this stuff, and there is no real gray involved in it. And, you know, these things should not be happening. And, you know, it's unfortunate that people <clears throat> don't know the rules, so they think they can do what they want, or they do know the rules and they try to skirt around them, as you said, uh, to do what they want to do. So um, we'll work on that to make sure that our chief clerk and, and our uh, election board and the election office gets information out to everybody 
including those that are hosting the elections at their facilities, as to what the rules are and what they have to do and what they what they must do. So you only have a few weeks to do it, and I'll tell you this. I, I'm going to say it again. If anybody else went through what we went through, I find it very difficult to believe that you would ever find people who would be willing to work those hours for that little bit of money and suffer and undergo that kind of treatment. If you were working at a regular job and you, you, you had that happening in, while you were in their employ, the state would be in to find out what was going on in terms of fair labor standards. Mm -hmm. But because we're basically volunteers, anything can happen to us. Right. And it almost did. And, it, and I'm not easily intimidated. But when I have three or four coming at me at the same time, I am intimidated. And I didn't appreciate it. And knowing that this situation is going to come up again, and nothing is, has been done so far that I can see or know, it makes me very, very worried. Well, on behalf of the commissioners, and I'm sure I speak for everybody here, you know, first we apologize for what you went through. That's not acceptable and should never be acceptable for anybody that is working in a polling booth for the, for the county, trying to put out fair elections for our communities and, and giving everybody their their uh, given right to be able to go in and vote and not be suppressed or to be hassled or, or anything else as well as the workers there. So it will be addressed and we will get something out very shortly on it. Thank you. Any, anything else under public comment on the... Yes. I, I just make a comment on the constables. I'll bet about half the townships in the county don't have a constable right. because the pay is so terrible. Nobody will take the job. I know right. we, our township has been trying for years to get somebody. And just nobody wants the job. <coughs> Sounds like they need one. Auditors are the same problems. We're down to one auditor in our township. How do you audit with one auditor? You can't legally. Right. We will definitely <coughs> put something in, pro in motion to try and address this. I, I want to make one more comment. Uh, in what I have said does not reflect on this it has, because I know that you are attentive. It has to do, I believe, with people who are involved, <coughs> who are just tangentially involved. And it's, you resigned your positions, or had to, in, in, when you declared. So anything that followed after that, anybody in that system after that, are the ones who should be addressed. And this problem should have been addressed then. I agree. Thank you. Anybody else? Can okay, we get a motion to... I'll make a motion to adjourn and... Get no, I was going to okay. make the motion. And open the salary board meeting. I'll second that. Motion to close the commissioners and open the salary board by Commissioner Warren, set by Commissioner Arnold. And that's at 9.28 a.m. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Salary board... The board is open at 9.28 a.m. Make a motion to approve the minutes from the September 11th meeting. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, second by Christian Warren, approve the minutes of the September 11th, 2019 salary board. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, let's see. And uh, I'll make a motion to approve item number two is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Okay, motion by Commissioner Warren, and by Commissioner Arnold, approve item two on the agenda, approve the addition of the 2019 miscellaneous compensation schedule, adding the election day assistant at a rate of $100 per day, $25 per day travel allowance. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 What did you say? Aye. Okay. Okay, item three? Mm -hmm. Make a motion to close the right, wait a minute. Any, Is there any public comment on the salary board? Hearing none. Item three. I make a motion to close salary board meeting at nine twenty-nine. Second. Motion by Commissioner Allen, second by Commissioner Warren to close the salary board. All in favor? Aye. 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 We now go to the pension board. The October twenty-fourth minutes were approved at the October twenty-fourth meeting. Back they were? I didn't see what they were. <coughs> okay. Okay, weren't 
right. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the October 24th, 2018 retirement board meeting. 2018 retirement board meeting. Why is it the 24th instead of this last one? No, this is pension board. Okay. <coughs> All right. Um, I'll second that. Okay. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold. Approve the minutes of the October 24, 2018 retirement board meeting. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Item one, item two. Make a motion to approve item two, or to make it number two, um, as listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Arnold to approve item two on the agenda. Approve the nationwide option one guaranteed minimum interest rate change for 2019. It'll be 3.5%, 2020 at 2.5, 2021 at 2%, and 2022 at 1%. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. All right. So carrying. Make a motion to approve item number three. three. Is listed on the agenda? Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Warren, second by Christian Allen, approved item three on the agenda, approve the return of funds from Stephen Janowski back to the retirement pension, have credit for service from August 2008 to November 2012 credited. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Any public comment on the, set on the pension board? I'd like to add motion number four to have the minutes read back to us for approval. before we end this meeting. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Warren. Can I get a second? I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Warren, second by Commissioner Allen to approve item four to have the minutes read back um, to uh, have them approved. With that being said, can we have the minutes read back? Well, we just approved. Yep. Uh, Retirement Board Agenda, September 25th, 2019. Commissioner Hall called the Retirement Board meeting to order at 9.29 a.m. President, Commissioner Hall, Hall, Arnold Warren, First Deputy Treasurer Westcott, Chief Clerk Hyde. Motion number one was approved by Commissioner Warren to approve the minutes of the October 24th, 2018 Retirement Board meeting, seconded by Commissioner Arnold. Motion number two. No, by no. That vote, so... No. Vote was unanimous? Yeah, unanimous. Okay. Motion number two was made by Commissioner Warren to approve the nationwide option one guaranteed minimum interest rate change for 2019 to be 3.5%, 2020 2.5%, 2021 2%, and 2022 1%, seconded by Commissioner Arnold. Vote was unanimous. Carried. Motion number three was made by Commissioner Warren to approve the return of funds from Stephen Janowski back to the retirement pension and have credit for service from August 2008 to November 2012 credited, seconded by Commissioner Arnold. Vote was unanimous. Carried. No public comments. And motion number four for the minutes by Commissioner Warren for the minutes to be read back to be approved. Seconded by Commissioner Arnold. Vote was unanimous. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as read. I'll second that motion. Okay, I motion by Commissioner Warren and second by Commissioner Arnold to approve the minutes as read. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I'll make a motion to close the retirement board meeting. I'll second that. <clears throat> need to include that in the minutes too. So you need to make a motion to close the retirement board and, and include in the in minutes the closing of the retirement board. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't have minutes without you can't have minutes of a meeting if you don't close the meeting. I just did. No, I mean in the minutes. So we just approved minutes for this meeting, but without the minutes we approved didn't have the meeting getting closed. Mm -hmm. You okay with that change? I am. All right. Wow. Yeah. So basically, what you'll have is the set the next line. It'll say the minute that Commissioner uh, Warren um, made a motion to close the retirement board. Commissioner Arnold seconded it. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 And it's unanimous. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I hang around for a minute, Stacy. I think I got something. Cool. I'll be right back. I like somethings. You were missing close to the show, but there we go. What's going on back here? <laughs> Where's 